Hi friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Joining you for more Coco Vanilla Studio inspiration using the fabulous Midnight Collection and this darling photo, my sweet girl and puppy. This gorgeous paper, look at that design there. I'm going to use that for something special. All the things, you'll find it on the All the Things pattern paper. Love the blooms in this and I'm going to trim some of those out. This is Bloom and Grow. And oh, it's indigo, need I say more? Inky Depths pattern paper. It's of course going to be the base for my layout today. And this particular project is for the design team post. The theme is put a ring on it. So here is my ring now. I'm adding that right on in. Of course, just a simple circle really. And I'm going to use that as a guideline for all these fussy cut pieces. I'm going to add them on like a wreath. Being inspired in particular by that lovely design from the All The Things paper is those Bloom and Grow blooms and aren't they lovely? They're so pretty, really big and bold and beautiful. And there we are, there's that lovely paper. It almost looks like the moon with this circle on it, doesn't it? Because the, the, the depth and the colour at the base and then those washy white, almost like it's got white in the clouds there. Um, Coming in though with those fussy cut pieces, just starting to work out where I'm going to pop things. And I might, yeah, that's a little dark through that lighter section there, so touching that up. I'm just starting to piece together a rough outline of how I'm going to plan my page. So nothing tricky here. The ring was quite simple, just a beautiful wreath. Lots of die cut ephemera there. I think I may have two or three packs shoved into one there. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, just playing with some more blooms, matching things up. I love repeat patterns and patterns on patterns. So using the same blooms together is important for me. Lots of lovely florals and leafy foliage pieces. And yeah, just making it all come together and work. I am going to use that fussy cut wreath from the All The Things paper as um, the position for my title. Love this. And fiddling around, you've just seen me add in a gorgeous little flare button that also has a wreath on it and it says hello lovely and I'm all picking out some pretties in the stickers as well I think and yeah here we go some stickers I cut them out do you do that when you're planning cut them out first and test them um, that's part of my process sometimes if I'm not quite sure how I want things to look finished I'd like to have a bit of an idea where I'm going sometimes sometimes I just go for it <laughs> But for this layer, I think because the background is so deep and dark and then the flowers are really soft and elegant, I thought it was, yeah, I should plan this a little better because you're going to really notice anything that I do add to the page. So just coming in and sticking it all down now. Some pieces I'm leaving flat and then a lot of the others I'm adding some foam tape to. So we've got that added dimension. So on for the title, of course, and then for those... Um, main blooms as well we'll add some foam tape there so yeah on these bigger pieces and see that will just give them that little bit of extra um, you can still see slightly on the screen I have I had didn't erase all of that ring I, I've still kept it there because you're not going to see it with my design over the top and it's just a really good guideline so that I get a really good um, clean circle on a square page it, you want to make sure that you're um, yeah aligned properly <laughs> don't want any wonky bits and just going to use my fine liner for some of those smaller um, leafy fronds make sure that they glue down well and I'll probably only glue yeah at the base so that I can lift the edges up and have a bit of dimension that soft soft dimension that just adds that little interest and now planning out how my photo is going to go look I think I'll get that sticker off there we go the accessory stickers are always so good aren't they I love them I'm a big fan of the typewriter words as well really really pretty okay so I think I'll pop you in on that side yep on <laughs> So there we go, it's starting to come to life now. There's that gorgeous little flare button, popping that one in as well. Look, it's really looking lovely, isn't it? I'm really happy with this. That inky depths paper for the background is quite striking, isn't it? 
And just to be a bit different, I'm bringing out some gorgeous Sinua gel pens and I'm going to doodle on my layout today. So I loved that we had the gorgeous wreath there, but I felt there wasn't quite enough um, leafy foliagey pieces to make it look really full. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a go at recreating some of those leaves throughout the wreath. So coming in with a white Sinua first, they go on quite light, which is great because it means you can quickly sketch out and then, you know, once you're happy, go on and you know, add some depth to that colour and draw them in. And realistically, you could achieve the same look with um, white embossing powder and stamping different leaves throughout. But I really wanted to get out and draw. I love the loose look, the really sketchy appearance of the Bloom and Grow pattern paper design. And it was quite easy just to come straight on in. I didn't pre-draw or practice or anything. This is really, like, really rough, sketchy and really fun. And, yeah, so I just sort of sit here for a little while, just drawing, doodling all the way around in sections where I want to highlight with the white pen. So I'll probably jump ahead in a moment because I do sit here for a little while thinking about what I want to do making sure that I do mimic the same sort of shapes. There we go. You can see I've added quite a few in and it really does look quite effective, particularly in that lower section where it's hard, um, where it's darker and it's much easier to see the white. It's quite lovely. So I'm actually really happy with that turned out. So if you want to do something a bit different, do some drawing on your layouts. Get out your pens and, yeah, have a bit of fun. And it, I was going to add some splatter and then I thought, why not use the, the other pens instead? So... That's when I picked out that lovely magenta pink and of course there's that blue there as well and I'll probably do a bit more drawing with the blue but I just wanted to add those pink highlights as well. A little bit harder to see because the dots are quite small um, so they're a little bit trickier to see at this distance but when I bring them for some close-ups you'll be able to see them a bit better so lots of tiny little hand-drawn dots almost like um, little confetti or adding a little bit of whimsy and magic to the page. I sort of, I liked the idea that it was midnight and this was the night sky and these were almost like little stars. Um, but of course, not just completely whimsical and fun. Very pretty. So lots and lots of little dots. As I said, they're really hard to see at this distance, but they are there. The bigger ones sort of stand out, but the smaller ones are yeah, they're like little scattered, teeny tiny sequin type effect, but smaller, <laughs> much smaller. Lots and lots of them. And now I'm going to come in with the blue. And I initially I was just going to do the dots and the blue, and then I thought, no, I think I will draw in. And just every so often add a silhouette or two of some leaves. Um, so having a little bit of full colour in them. Just to, yeah, particularly at the top where I felt the white got a bit lost. I just wanted to have one or two to draw you in that little bit more to that section of the page. There we go. And a few white dots to come in and finish as well for balance. There we are. It's really quite a simple layout. There's nothing really tricky about this. It's just a lot of fun to make. And really, it was just a lot of cutting and drawing. And have a look at that. There you go. Now you can see those dots. Don't they look fantastic? So if you're a bit mixed media phobic too, they're a nice way to add the look of splatter without actually even picking up a paintbrush. So a little bit more time consuming, but definitely lots of fun. Going to add in more of those accessory stickers now. Some butterflies as well to adorn the wreath. And you can see with the theme, of course, it was put a ring on it. There was the, the ring in the fussy cut piece from all the things that um, is the base for my title over there. Um, there's also, of course, the wreath shape. We've got the wreath on the Hello Lovely button, flare button. And even on that accessory sticker beneath my photo, there's that ring. So certainly meeting the brief for putting a ring on it. But oh my goodness, when did a ring get so pretty? This is really, really lovely. A really gorgeous layout for any special lady in your life. Or in my case, my very pretty sweet girl. Love you so. That's a nice little touch of journaling for the bottom of the page there. 
And because I want her to be able to see that, clearly I am putting it in the darker indigo section because it'll really pop with the white base there. And adding some words. I knew I would do it. Here we go, my darling. That's a nice one to pop underneath. And of course, with my, all my layouts, there is a letter going on the back of this layout for her. So these are just some, some little um, teasers of the journaling and I guess just to dress the page. Yeah. Really beautiful. It's, it's amazing just how a few small elements can make a layout look really stunning and really special and beautiful. And it, it really was a simple layout, wasn't it? Just lots of fussy cutting and a quick bit of scribbly drawing. It's yeah, a nice one to recreate, especially if you have this collection at home. You can just sort of whip this one out probably in about 20 minutes, I think. Took me a bit longer on camera because, of course, stopping and starting for recording, but it was a really quick and simple layout um, with maximum beauty, which really suits me to a T. I love the pretty pages. A little fiddly sticker there. That one says love. Really lovely indeed. And maybe one or two to finish. And just coming in with some sequins. And these are back from maybe 2016, I think, from the Hello Lovely collection. Don't quote me on that, but they're from wherever. I'm pretty sure it was Hello Lovely. Um, yeah, just adding that last finishing touch. And they are really, really pretty. And I felt like it needed the sequins because this, there was no big splatter from paint. I just needed something big to add that finishing touch. And there you go. Really simple, really beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed watching my process. I've got all the gorgeous close-ups coming for you now. But if you've got questions or comments, please don't hesitate to pop them down below. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and all that jazz. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, happy arty days. Bye.